you know what it's like to want to be someone else. To be different of what you are. I've always wanted to be another person. All I want to be is someone better than myself. To become less ordinary and find some purposes in this world. It's time to become what I'm not. I think the world should be better that way. I'm the most powerful seed ever. Growing with infinite power and determination of myself. I have no limitations. Everything I do, I get something out of it. I have an inhumane sense of willingness and responsibility as an artist. I am God, I am God, I am God. I'm a black American. I'm in my prime time. I live in New York City. I mean, I'm the luckiest guy in the world. I have the most accessibility to opportunity. My name is Titus Gandy. Um, I'm from Atlantic City, New Jersey. And moving to New York, I realized that I wanted to be more culturally surrounded with other people and other ideas. I, um, I, was, standing out, I, was, I was standing outside one day, and I saw the naked cowboy. And he was outside playing his guitar. People were coming up to him, taking pictures with him. And I've heard of him before, but I never really uh, like knew exactly who he was, you know? So I walked up to him and I was like, uh, hey, Nicky Cowboy, I was wondering if uh, I could somehow become a Nicky Cowboy, you know? And he looked at me and uh, he said, yeah, yeah, come on, come on down. So we came here, the lair, you know, the sanctuary, and um, gave me a pair of underwear, told me to try it on, come back uh, the next day at 11 o'clock and to start, you know? You can call it an act of impulse. You can call it an act of desperate times, measures. You can call it whatever you want. I think for me, as Titus Gandy, that the Naked Cowboy is more of an intuitive um, character than anything else. Uh, for me, it's just, it's just, it came to me as an epiphany. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was trying to be famous, I wanted to be successful, I wanted to be, you know, when I was your age, mm -hmm. acting like I owned the world. I, I had that mindset, but I had nothing but, I didn't have the skills exactly, yeah. to, to be it. I was basically a stripper. I was a stripper, so I was dancing in a G-string to make money all through college. Mm -hmm. Then I got that call to do Playgirl magazine. I went to Venice Beach to shoot nude. Mm -hmm. I went down to the beach on my spare time with my guitar and I played with a guitar case open for the whole day and made two cents that was thrown at me. And I was all bumming and a photographer said, why don't you play in your underwear, do something different. He said he'd take pictures of me if I did, like he thought it was a dare. Huh. Next day I went worked out in the pit with my Daisy Dukes and no <laughs> shirt, played and people took pictures all day. That was it. I mean, I made over $100 and I'm driving home. He goes, oh, my little naked cowboy. <laughs> it was the way I found that worked for me. You reach critical mass. What motivation not? It could be the next picture. Yeah. This is the number. There yeah. is a point of critical mass where everything just does. I'm not saying I just have it. I'm focusing on having it because I want to be a guy that's strong and solid and character and everything else enough and to have served enough people to deserve it. Believe in it and go for it, you know, aspire to it. Yeah. Again, I'm being in that. It's my focus. Yeah. Living immortality. Live forever. Yeah, man. Right here, just like this. Get the backside. Well, I'm the naked cowboy. Doing what I love to do. And I'm the naked cowboy. Keeping it real. Real. 
Rob has this idea that he wants me to be a lot more famous than he is. Um, but for instance, on my second day, I was, I was called a, a nigger. I was nigger, 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 you know? And at first I was, I was like hurt. I was like, oh my God, you know? How could someone say this to me in front of all these people? And then I just, right away I switched it up and I was like, well, I'm the naked nigger, you know? And people came around and they were like, what is this guy doing? Because you, know, you gotta remember we're in Times Square, you know, there's something going on every five seconds. So people are gonna be like, what's, what's he doing? What's he doing? What's he gonna do next? What's he gonna do next? People, in my point of view, have a tendency to want to understand things before they invest in things, you know? And they're like, are you cold? And I go, no, I'm sweating my balls off. What do you mean, you know? It's, it's all about the, the reverse of things, you know what I mean? It, the, the answer that people didn't expect, you know? Uh, sometimes people say like, uh, what does your mom think? What do your parents think? And I say, they have no idea. So don't put it on Facebook, you know what I mean? If I want to tell them the truth, then I'll tell them the truth. If I want to tell them what they want to hear, then I'm going to tell them what they want to hear. If I tell them what they don't want to hear, then I'm going to tell them what they don't want to hear. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's all a game. It's, it's all just fun, you know? I'm pushing myself harder than I need to. This project, uh, for me, as a person, is only making me learn about myself more because this is like my little diary. Once I think as Titus, you know, I'm like, oh, what, what the hell am I doing? What, what the hell is, is really going on? Why? What? And then I just lose it, you know, and then I got to go back in and regain the strength to go back out there, you know what I mean? Because, you know, when you're out there, you're, you're hoping that a crowd will come around you so that you feel like um, that everyone's with you on what you're doing rather than just walking by you and looking at you like you're crazy. It's not about where you go, it's about what you're doing. Me being a naked cowboy has made me more vulnerable, conscious, has really balanced my self-esteem a lot. <laughs> it's, it's just a great reminder of making me think about what I do and what I say and even as a person. I give myself and train myself to be more than life, you know what I mean? It's always about why. Why am I doing this? What am I trying to, what message am I trying to get out there? Um, the only message that I want to get across is that individuality is completely up to you. I mean, you are who you are and getting a sense of who you are is the greatest thing and the greatest accomplishment of your life, in my opinion. Um, you know, I, I, I mean, Naked Cowboy has become uh, my therapy.
my only enemy is myself. You know, I, I'm the only one who can really, really, like, bring me down. I'm in a trap. See, Rob didn't tell me about this little trap. And it's a it's a it's a it's a deep trap. Once you become a naked cowboy. You don't really stop being a naked cowboy. I mean you can, but once you become a naked cowboy, you don't stop being a naked cowboy. You can, <laughs> but ride or die, man, you know? I am love. As the days go on, I seem to realize more and more how I don't have a clue to who I really am. Does this mean I'm insecure, scared, unreal, uneducated? It's moment to moment interactions. If I knew who I was, I would go crazy. <laughs> Considering who I am today will never be who I am tomorrow. I'm the naked black cowboy. Thank you.